जय हिंद जय भारत इन वेलकम टू डेफ टॉक्स दिस इज आदि पहले तो मेरी अपॉलोजीज आज अभिजीत के साथ शो था वो कैंसिल करना पड़ा बिकॉज इसकी उनकी तबीयत थोड़ी ठीक नहीं है बट वी विल ऑब्वियसली कैच अप विद हिम प्रॉब्ली इन द नेक्स्ट वीक सेम टाइम उससे वी विल कैल वी विल आई विल प्लान इट आउट एंड आई विल कम बैक टू यू बट मैंने सोचा यार बहुत टाइम से बहुत लोग मेरे को बोल रहे हैं कि एक ऐसे ही एक आस्क आस्क जियो पॉलिटिक्स टाइप आप एक सेशन करिए ताकि हम लोग आपके साथ थोड़ा सा सॉरी अबाउट दैट थोड़ा सा इंटरेक्ट कर सकें एंड वी कैन आस्क मोर क्वेश्चन सो आई सेट चलिए आज जैसे मैंने कुछ प्रिपेयर करके रखा था बट आई वॉज यू नो काइंड लिटिल लेजी टू एक्चुअली गो थ्रू इट एंड इट्स नॉट सच एन अर्जेंट टॉपिक तो मैंने बोला चलिए ठीक है फेयर इनफ लेट्स डू दिस आस्क मी जियो पॉलिटिक्स सॉर्ट ऑफ अ सेशन एंड लेट्स सी यार क्या बातें कर सकते हैं आपके साथ सो लेट्स स्पेंड द नेक्स्ट आवर विद यू गाइज आस्किंग मी क्वेश्चन लेट्स कीप इट ऑन जियो पॉलिटिक्स लेट्स कीप इट ऑन द डीप स्टेट लेट्स कीप इट ऑन इसराइल लेट्स कीप इट ऑन ईरान लेट्स कीप इट ऑन यूक्रेन लेट्स कीप इट ऑन भारत चाइना पाकिस्तान इनके ऊपर चीजें रखते हैं एंड लेट्स गो सो जाने से पहले सबसे पहले प्लीज ये वीडियो को लाइक करिए सब्सक्राइब करिए चैनल को अगर आपने नहीं करा एंड मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंटली शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली आज दोपहर वाला वीडियो वॉज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मैट फैक्ट दैट वॉज अ गुड डिबेट दैट मी एंड कल नजय हैड एंड मजा आया उसके अंदर बिकॉज यू वे गोइंग टू एंड फ्रॉन सर्टन थिंग्स अबाउट ग्लोबल जियो पॉलिटिक्स एंड रीजनल जियो पॉलिटिक्स क्योंकि मेरे हिसाब से द इंटायर गेम इन द मुस्लिम वर्ल्ड हैज चेंज ये जो पूरा इसराइल ने गेम खेली है और अमेरिका के पीछे से गेम हुई है उससे चाइना को तो बड़ा झटका लगा होगा और चाइना का झटका के बारे में कोई सवाल पूछेगा तो वी विल टॉक अबाउट लिटिल लेटा सो चलिए आपके सवाल लेने ऑलरेडी शुरू कर देते हैं एंड लेट्स सी व्हाट यू गाइस हैव टू से सबसे पहले ऑलराइट ओके सागर जी न्यू इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इंडियन स्पेस एसोसिएशन इंपैक्ट ऑन द स्पेस इंडस्ट्री देखिए इंडिया में जो स्पेस इंडस्ट्री है दैट्स अ वेरी गुड इंडस्ट्री इसरो ने काफी कुछ अच्छा काम करा है वॉट इज बींग ट्राइड टू बी डन इज भाई उसको किसी तरह से प्राइवेट हैंड्स में भी डालें आई ऑल्सो डिड अ शो विथ समबडी फ्रॉम कलाम लैब्स जो बच्चों के साथ स्पेस एक्सपेरिमेंट्स करते हैं Uh, the idea is to actually take the concept of space down to the last person. आप जितने भी दूर तक जितने कॉलेजेस में स्कूल्स में लोगों को इनकरेज कर सकते हैं स्पेस के बारे में काम करने के लिए वॉट हैपन्स विद दैट इज यू आर बेसिकली इंकरेजिंग एन एटमोसफेयर ऑफ इनोवेशन जैसे आप इनोवेशन की बात करते हैं तो चीजें ऑलरेडी अपने आप धीरे धीरे बढ़नी शुरू हो जाती हैं एज फार एज द स्पेस एसोसिएशन देखिए दो तीन चीजें हैं एज फार एज डिफेंस इज कंसर्न एक समथिंग इज नोन एज दी स्पेस एजेंसी जो हमारी आर्म फोर्सेस चलाती हैं विच इज बेसिकली लुकिंग एट आपकी जो डिफेंस एयर स्पेस इन द डिफेंस इफ आई मे यूज दैट वर्ड क्योंकि ये आजकल तो डिफेंस इज बेसिकली गॉन अप एवरीवेयर तो उसके अंदर भी एक uh, एक सेगमेंट है जिसके अंदर आर्म फोर्सेस काम करती हैं द स्पेस एसोसिएशन मोर और लेस डील्स विद द सिविल यूज ऑफ स्पेस अभी इलॉन मस्क में भी काफी बात चल रही है कि स्टार लिंक आएगा भारत की थोड़ी सी ऑटोनोमी चली जाएगी ये हो जाएगा वो हो जाएगा So, काफी कुछ इसमें है एंड स्पेस इंडस्ट्री इज द नेक्स्ट फ्रंटियर ठीक है गगनयान आपके एस्ट्रोनॉट्स ऑलरेडी ट्रेनिंग कर रहे हैं आई एम ट्राइंग टू गेट सम इन्फॉर्मेशन उनकी क्या ट्रेनिंग है बट इज डैम डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड आउट चलिए नेक्स्ट देख देखते हैं फ्यूचर ऑफ स्पेस कॉलोनाइजेशन डोंट सीम फार फ्रॉम रियालिटी लाइक स्पेस एक्स मैसिव स्टारशिप्स आर ऑलरेडी अंडर डेवलपमेंट देखिए ऐसा है इट इज ऑल्सो इलॉन मस्क का जो गेम है आई फाइंड इट टू बी अटिल मोर साइकोलॉजिकल इज वेल बिकॉज यू आर ऑल्सो लुकिंग एट अ पर्सन हु primarily believes that life on this planet cannot go on the way it is going on so he says ki bhai let's look for another planet which is very good fantastic uh, there is a lot of potential uske andar aajkal space mein agar aap dekhe asteroid mining ki baat chalti hai moon mining ki baat chalti hai mars mining ki baat chalti hai because there is a lot of minerals that you can find from there rare earths and whole lot of things so yes the next frontier as i was just saying is going to be space and colonization dekhiye is would be the first human sort of a step that would be taken uh, this is something which is inevitable if i may say that dheere dheere karke and it's a race theek hai so let's let's please understand that this is going to be a heavy amount of a solid space race right okay was israel attack on iran consulate calculated to reduce the media narrative on a uh, media narrative heat on itself dekhiye ye aaj dopahar mein kal ajay singh ne bola tha टू एन एक्सटेंट आई डू अग्री टू इट दूसरी तरफ से मेरा थोड़ा मानना डिफरेंट है मैं ये बोलता हूँ कि दिस वॉज अ पर्पजफुल प्रेशर टैक्टिक दैट वॉज प्लेड ताकि ये जो एक रशिया चाइना ईरान का एक एक्सेस बन रहा है दुनिया के अंदर उसको तोड़ा जाए ताकि चाइना पे अगर हमको जाना है सो चाइना इज दी ओनली पार दैट द वेस्ट नीड्स टू डील विद 
नॉट ईरान बैकिंग इट एंड रशिया बैकिंग इट धीरे धीरे करके वॉट दे ट्राइंग टू डू इज ब्रेक दीज गाइज इन साइड आउट इनके साथ कॉन्वर्सेशन शुरू करने के लिए कि देखिए आपके बस में आपके बस में ये अच्छा है कि आप इस जो अगली झगड़ा होने वाला है उससे जरा दूर रहें नाउ दिस इज ऑल टू डू विद द न्यू वर्ल्ड ऑर्डर जिसके बारे में हम बात करते हैं किस तरह से नया जो दुनिया है नया दुनिया का स्ट्रक्चर है वो बनेगा बिकॉज अमरीका के पास उतना दम नहीं है कि पूरी तरह से वो खेल सके सो यस यू कैन कॉल दिस मूव जो सीरिया में अटैक हुआ एज एज अ बोल सकते हैं ना ड्रॉ आउट बाहर जो बोलते हैं ना चोरी छुपे जो बैठा होता है उसको बाहर निकालने का एक मूव बोल सकते हैं कि आपने ईरान को बेसिकली छप्पड़ में से बाहर निकाला एंड नाउ यूव एक्सपोज इट एंड यूव काइंड ऑफ आइसोलेटेड इट उसके ऊपर काफी प्रेशर है सो इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टोल ऑन एनी कंट्री सो या यू कुड से दैट टू एन एक्सटेंट एज वेल राहुल जी यू से hope the water situation is okay for you till now yeah i mean having a sip of water does bharat have any plans to get back the islands <coughs> foolishly ceded by nehru to myanmar rahul ji just by question i i presume that aap bangalore mein reh rahe hain tabhi aap uh, pani ke bare mein pooch rahe hain dekhiye myanmar ka jo island hai it's basically two islands there's a greater koko and a little koko वहां पर एक एयर स्ट्रिप चाइनीज ने बनाई है वहां पर लिस्टिंग स्टेशन ऑफ द चाइनीज रेडार यूनिट दे ट्राइंग टू पुट इन देयर एंड देखिए अगर वहां तक पहुंचेगा तो दे विल ट्राई एंड पुट इन सम सॉर्ट ऑफ एन एयर डिफेंस सिस्टम इज वेल एच क्यू नाइन एच क्यू ट्वेल्व समय डिफेंस सिस्टम दैट दे विल ट्राई एंड पुट इन अब दिस इज अ वेरी टफ कॉल क्योंकि देखिए दैट एरिया इज गोनो गेट कंटेंशियस इसके बारे में मैंने काफी बात करी है वेन वी टॉक अबाउट मायनमार वी टॉक अबाउट मैरेटाइम जो फाइट है बिटवीन इंडिया एंड चाइना अब इट इज डिफिकल्ट बट आई डोंट देखिए ईच वन ऑफ दीज प्लेस जैसे आई एल गिव यू एग्जाम्पल ऑफ गिलगिट बाल्टिस्तान ऑल्सो गिलगिट बाल्टिस्तान में अगर आज आप बात करते हैं वापस लेने की यू ऑल्सो नीड टू इट्स अ ट्राइलैटरल इशूज नो मोर बायोलैटरल इशू बिकॉज चाइना वहां बैठा हुआ है ऑलरेडी यू कैन कीप से भारत और पाकिस्तान के बीच में है बट द ग्राउंड रियालिटी इज डिफरेंट सो इट इज अ ट्राइलैटरल इशू और किसी ना किसी तरह से आपको इसके बारे में कुछ गेम खेलनी पड़ेगी it all depends on how you play a china policy how you play a china game uh, this is a long term game it's not a short term game abhi to aap khelna shuru kare ho i think it's too early for us to go to that aspect but what should be done is containment theek hai chinese capabilities jo bhi wahan par hain unko contain karna humko uh, we should be able to actually do that very effectively can bharat impose sanctions on iran that's an interesting question aap uh, context mein puchne because 17 hamare sailors wahan par hai let me show you in the next couple of days you'll get a news that they are coming back everything is going to be fine koi itni problem nahi hai uh dekhiye as far as sanctions are concerned sanctions you only do to your enemies jaise bharat ne china ko sanction kiya tha kisi tarah se bharat ne pakistan ko cancel sanction kiya hua hai you only do it to your enemies now iran i would rather recommend कि आपके पास जब भी एक अपॉइंट होता है किसी कंट्री के साथ इफ यू हैव व्हाट यू कॉल इफ यू हैव अ लेवरेज अगेन सम कंट्री यू शुड बी एबल टू यूज इट टू योर एडवांटेज पिछली बारी मैं आपको बताऊं जब uh, ये एक हमारी शिप के ऊपर ड्रोन अटैक हुआ था जयशंकर जी वेंट देयर एनी गेव अ वेरी क्लियर आंसर कि देखिए ये सब चीज चलेगा नहीं दिस विल नॉट बी एक्सेप्टेबल एंड हाउ डू वी यू नो प्ले विद दिचुएशन तो आई वुड राधर रिकमेंड कि भाई सैंक्शन तो आप थप 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 थप्पड़ मार सकते हो किसी को बट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट आप लेवरेज निकालें उस चीज के बारे में सो दैट वुड दैट समथिंग दैट आई वुड रिकमेंड ओके जेबी जेपी थैंक यू सो मच से इज योर व्यू ऑन मर्डर ऑफ विकास बग्गा पंजाबी हिंदू बी एच पी बीजेपी वी एच पी लीडर इन अंगल पंजाब बाय खालिस्तानी विद अड प्लीज रेज वॉइस फॉर जस्टिस वेल यू नो पंजाब इज समथिंग आई बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट Quite a bit. I don't want to get into the dirty domestic politics of Punjab. इसके बारे में पहले भी बोल चुका हूँ. But देखिए क्या है Punjab की problem क्या है? Let's let's break it down in three simple steps. एक problem है there's a lack of aspiration. उनकी Punjab में aspiration क्या है? It's connected to Canada. ठीक है मैं किसी से थोड़े दिन पहले बात कर रहा था and uh, this person told me that वहाँ पर ऐसे काफी institutions चलते हैं. जहां पर कनाडा की और इन लोगों की इन वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज की एंट्री के लिए आप 10-15 लाख रुपए दे दो कोई आई नहीं है कोई ये नहीं है कोई वो नहीं है ठीक है आप सीधा कनाडा जाके पहुंच जाते हो तो एक जो एस्पिरेशन पंजाब के स्टेट की मारी गई है दैट इज समथिंग विच इज अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर दैट देखिए द स्टेट ऑफ पंजाब इट सेल्फ नीड्स टू रियलाइज वॉट इज है 
आप बाहर से जितने मर्जी डंडे चला लो जब तक वो कंट्री जो एक जगह है जो एक कंट्री इज अ कंट्री साइड फॉर दैट मैटर इट्स अ वे ऑफ स्पीकिंग कि वो एक देश है जैसे भारत में जब मोदी जी आए आपने चीजों को बदलने की मांग करी चीजें बदली एंड यू स्टिल डिमांडिंग मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर इट इज बिकॉज वी ऑल हैव एन एस्पिरेशन अगर आप वो पंजाब स्टेट के अंदर एस्पिरेशन मर गई है उसको जगाने के लिए थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा इट इज नॉट एन ईजी थिंग इट इज नॉट समथिंग फॉर वन पर्सन टू डू कश्मीर में देखिए अब 2019 से आज देख लीजिए पांच साल होने को आए हैं इश्यूज आर स्टिल देयर बट थिंग्स आर इंप्रूविंग सो इट टेक्स टाइम इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट बट द स्टेट इट सेल्फ नीड्स टू बी वांटिंग टू डू समथिंग एंड दैट्स वेयर आई सी सम थोड़ा सा मेरे को लैक दिखता है लोकल लीडरशिप बननी चाहिए पीपल लाइक रमनीक सिंह मान पीपल लॉट ऑफ पीपल विच आर देयर हु आई रिस्पेक्ट क्वाइट अ बिट उनको खड़ा होना पड़ेगा दे हैव टू स्टार्ट मेकिंग अ बेस base of uh, you know uh, local good politics and then things could kind of improve so it's a long way off but not impossible acha ji next jate hain um pakistan youtuber ka khel kaha tak pahunchega because they influence indian society biggest worry for bharat it's not a biggest worry abhi dekhiye aapko pata chal gaya hai ye problem hai so it's not that big a worry बट ये yes, आप जरा uh, मैं उस दिन टाइम पास कर रहा था मेरे पास कुछ करने को था नहीं तो मैंने बोला देखे यार इन लोगों के इंस्टाग्राम अकाउंट है कि नहीं है तो फकर का तो मेरे को मिला नहीं कमर चीमा का एक था सा ऐसी था कुछ आरजू काजमी का मैंने देखा आई डोंट वांट टू यू नो दिस थिंग बट वन थिंग आई सो इन दमेंट लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल आर स्टिल इन द बश ठीक है विच इज समथिंग विच इज बैड फॉर अस तो कहीं ना कहीं हमको जगना है यार वो तो देखिए आपके दुश्मन है आप वो तो करेंगे जो करना है उनको आप उनको गाली निकाल सकते हो बट राधा इज वेल आप अपने आप के अपने अंदर देखिए किस तरह से आप चीजों को इम्प्रूव कर सकते हो राइट सो दैट समथिंग आई वुड रेकमेंड राधा देन उनको कुछ बोलने की वजह आई वुड से वी नीड टू लुक इट विद इन आर सेल्व काफी चैनल्स ने मैंने देखा है uh, अंबर ने एक्चुअली सबसे पहले कुछ करा था अपने पास उसके बाद मैंने भी काफी आवाज उठाई and i spoke to amber also about this uh, so i i commended aapne bahut achhi cheez kari hai as a matter of fact uske baad maine bhi awaaz uthai group captain mj uh, vinod ke sath and we've been doing this time and again kal raat ko bhi hum log ek bahut badi cheez expose karne wale hain about the pakistani army so please do join us me and raja munib ji jo humne promise kiya tha ki hum pakistan ki abhi alag tarah se baat karenge we will not talk about the regular conversations hum pakistan ko andar se expose karenge abhi so that is something that we are starting off there's a big exposure coming in tomorrow so stay tuned for that god speed thank you so much for your contribution you say muslim protesters were seen dancing in ottawa after iran attack yeah well canadians are now getting tired of this civil war on the cards i don't know how many canadians are getting tired of it main sahi mein bol raha hu because uh, <clears throat> i hope aap uh, god speed ji aap safe ho and aap aapke family safe ho आपके जितने भी दोस्त यार वहां पर हैं सेफ रहें यू नो एंड शिवजी की आपकी फोटोग्राफ है महादेव की आपके कृपा रहे बट देखिए कनाडा एज अ कंट्री हैज फेल्ड इट सेल्फ कनाडा टू मी हैज बीन अ टेस्टिंग ग्राउंड एक एक जो टेस्टिंग ग्राउंड है डीप स्टेट का जो जो भी टेढ़ी मेढ़ी चीजें <coughs> जो अमेरिका अपने अंदर नहीं करता वो कैनेडा में ट्राई करता है सो कैनेडा यू गाइज आर एट द फ्रंट ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट जोन ठीक है लेट मी से दैट एल जी बी टी क्यू मूवमेंट ले लीजिए ये वोकिज्म ले लीजिए ये प्रो हमास प्रोटेस्ट ले लीजिए ऑल दीज थिंग्स हैड अ बर्थ हैव देयर बेस इन कैनेडा सो या इट्स अ डेंजरस प्लेस बड़ी एंड टुडे आई सॉ मैं तो अपना ये जो मैंने एक तकिया कलाम सा लिखा हुआ है ना एस साइनो वाहबी लेफ्टिस्ट तो मैंने उसमें ऐड करा है साइनो वाहबी लेफ्टिस्ट खालिस्तानी एस डब्ल्यू एल के सो दिस इज यू नो टुडे आई सॉ प्रोटेस्ट वे दे वॉज हमास फ्लैग्स they were that stupid free kashmir flags then there were khalistani flags and then there were some you know taliban type flags black flags i don't know isis whatever it was so all of them have kind of joined forces under the umbrella of the left acha ji aage chale shivam ji kehte hain silicon cobalt or lithium jaise rare earth minerals ko bharat kaise secure karega for making battery and semiconductors देखिए कोबाल्ट के लिए तो मैंने आपको दो तीन दिन पहले बताया सदर्न इंडियन ओशन के अंदर भारत ने एक बात करी है वी ऑलरेडी गॉट अप्रूवल्स फॉर माइनिंग ऑफ कोबाल्ट सिलिकॉन इज अ बिग क्वेश्चन क्योंकि सिलिकॉन का प्रोडक्शन एंड सिलिकॉन की जो 
प्रोसेसिंग होती है दैट इज वेरी वेरी क्रिटिकल लिथियम यू ऑलरेडी गॉट इन लार्ज क्वांटिटीज इन जेएनके वहां पर आई थिंक ऑलरेडी ऑक्शनिंग हो चुकी है सो यू विल फाइंड दिस दिस गेम मूविंग फॉरवर्ड सो थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा थोड़ा सा एफर्ट लगेगा बट आई थिंक वी विल बी इन अ गुड पोजिशन okay i think i have taken this question sorry ji when is general rajiv coming back uh, we miss him uh, so do i i think by the end of the month probably ek date hafte ke andar he should be back as soon as he gets free chahe mujhe paanch show na karane pade unke sath hafte mein main kara ke rahunga and i will clip out this thing and send it to him adi sir i israel uh, i heard israel wants bharat to impose sanctions on iran can bharat do it yeah dekhiye israelis uh, are very emotional people because i can understand their position but i don't think we play with emotions hum log real politics mein baat karte hain so there is you know i would urge caution to it and bharat ki jis tarah se conversation hui hai dono taraf se that tells you ki aapki jo marginal policy hai and that's not means small aapki margin policy is right in the middle you got that middle path that gives you respect on both the sides which was confirmed कल इजरायली एम्बेसडर ने भी ये चीज बोली कि भारत इज ट्राइंग हार्ड स्पीकिंग टू बोथ द साइड्स एंड वी अप्रिशिएट इट सो दैट्स समथिंग व्हिच आई से एंड लेट्स वेट फॉर मोदी साहब्स विजिट टू रशिया एंड यूक्रेन एंड दैट गेम व्हिच आई कीम टॉकिंग अबाउट विल कम आउट प्रीटी um यू नो वेल बेदी सर विल कम बैक वेरी सून या सो वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग अ सब्जेक्ट एज़ सून एज़ वी आर रेडी वी विल कम बैक व्हाई डोंट वी डिस्कस जियोपॉलिटिक्स रिलेटेड टू अफ्रीका एंड लैटिन अमेरिका continent as does the pacific islands have any importance so pacific islands i do discuss with my very 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 nice friend cleo i like her a lot she's got a lot of knowledge and unke sath baat karke bahut hi maza aata hai uh, i will try and get her back i do a show with her once a month she travels a lot so you know solomons and uh, tinian and all that stuff we do shows about it uh, africa is a point taken i will try and get somebody involved about africa and latin america ke andar abhi tak mera reach nahi pahuncha hai uh let me give it a little time because i need to study the area myself as well and i will be sure to add it into my repertoire but basics geopolitics of latin america i don't think i am that shy with bharat ka banarasi i hope banaras mein sab kuch theek hai ji thank you so much but aap lagte hain england mein uh how do you see elon musk bharat visit i see elon musk bharat visit as a similar nature jis tarah se aap uh, negotiations kar rahe the deep state ke sath uh, you were basically talking to elon uh, bill gates and one of the things that i see is elon musk is the new money to kahin na kahin kuch na kuch negotiations hogi kuch na kuch cheeze baat kari jayengi ki kis tarah se aap cheezon ko aage leke ja sakte hain tesla is one of them online narratives would be another one of them एंड देखिए भारत की नेगोशिएशन के अंदर कहीं ना कहीं वो भी चीजें आएंगी कि भाई साहब जो आपके प्लेटफॉर्म पे चलता है उसको थोड़ा ठीक करिए सीधा करिए बट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली इट्स द चाइना फैक्टर दैट यू नीड टू द लार्जेस्ट फैक्ट्री ऑफ टेस्ला इज इन चाइना इन शैंगाई तो आप जितना ऑपरेशन वहां से ट्रांसफर कर सकते हैं दैट्स को नो हर्ट चाइना एंड इलॉन मस्क का जो विजिट है दैट टेल्स यू दैट ही इज आल्सो फीलिंग अ लिटिल प्रेशर इन चाइना एंड ही इज नॉट वांटिंग टू पुट हिज एग्स इन दैट बास्केट एनीमोर सो दैट्स गुड दैट्स गुड फॉर अस राइट आगे चलते हैं चाइना अगेन पंपिंग सूडो ग्रोथ रेट्स मैं ट्विटर पे भी लिखा था मैं यहां पे भी बोल देता हूं आई हैव द लंडन ब्रिज मेरा पर्सनल प्रॉपर्टी है लंडन ब्रिज पर्सनल प्रॉपर्टी मैं उनको किसी को बेचना चाहूंगा जो चाइना का जीडीपी विश्वास करता हो is there any deep state in bharat any country has a deep state every country has a deep state your intelligence your military your leadership combined together to form a deep state you can call it the deep state kyunki aapko wo chupke chupke baatein karte hain and plans banate hain jo aapko nahi pata hote hain so yeah you could say that but we don't have a deep state the way the americans or the pakistanis do in the navy marcos commandos of ins talwar warship dis, uh, deployed in the west arabian sea uh, for maritime security as part of ctf 150 seized 940 kg of drugs you know this takes the total of hamare paas kitna 4000 kg aa gaya tha already so yeah that's 5000 kg in the past 6 months that you've kind of busted that's a lot of money main to us in joke kar raha tha yaar kisi ko bech booch ke aadmi ko paise de do yaar 
what is going on in japan rajiv malhotra ji said some tweets about protests uh, on there about against un establishments claims that the media is not giving due coverage dekhiye i think uh, his tweet is a little blown out of proportion because if you understand japanese society there is a very anti war faction in japan especially in hiroshima nagasaki jahan par atomic explosions hue the so when japan moves from a very pacifist to a defensive nation to kafi had tak kafi logon ko acha nahi lagta hai to those were the protests and there is a lot of anti us sentiment which is there which is left over from the second world war to ye cheeze hain there is this thing and yeah media ka to kya hai yaar media kis cheez ko coverage deta hai nag parsham ji how can we improve research output in india very simple answer sir by doing research nothing more than that we just need to start researching as simple as you and me as well hum log jab kisi cheez ke bare mein baat karte hain we should dig into the details of it and then talk otherwise wo you know a lot of times are shooting people are like maine aaj ek tweet padha hamari opposition kehti hai ki bhai jamnagar nagar mein ambani ki wedding ke time pe indian air force handle kar rahi thi ye indian air force abhi ambani ke liye kaam karti hai ye wo this that oh bewakoofon the jamnagar airport is owned by the air force agar wahan par shaadi hai to kaun kisko pakistaniyon ko leke aake karaoge air defense but itni aqal kahan hai inko hamare hindu newspaper ne to uske upar article likh diya वो प्रशांत भूषण से लेके सबने उसको रीट्वीट कर दिया अब सोच रहे होंगे यार ये तो गड़बड़ होगी ठीक है सो नॉलेज इज द की फॉर एवरीथिंग एंड डूइंग स्टफ इज द की फॉर एवरीथिंग व्हिच समवेयर डाउन द लाइन वी डोंट डू प्लीज थ्रो सम लाइट्स ऑन इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ लेवल पावर टू स्ट्रेस जियोपॉलिटिकल स्ट्रेंथ लेट मी शो यू समथिंग राइट ओके यू गाइस कैन सी दिस मैप राइट That's India, ठीक है ये है इंडिया आपको दिख रहा है एंड ये है इंडिया ये देखिए ये है इंडिया राइट सो यू डिसाइड विच साइड इज इंपॉर्टेंट बड़ा सिंपल सा सवाल है आपके साथ आप डिसाइड कर लीजिए कौन सी साइड इंपॉर्टेंट है ये साइड कि ये साइड द बैटल इज यर गाइज अभी आप मूव कर रहे हो इंडियन ओशन के अंदर तो चाइना आपको बोलता है नहीं नहीं जी अरुणाचल पे वापस आओ ठीक है ईज थैंक यू ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग यू बैक हियर क्योंकि उसको पता है यहां पर आप उसकी पीठ तोड़ देंगे सो रिमेंबर दिस वेरी क्लियरली द बैटल इज इन दी ओशन रशिया सेज दैट इट्स फिगरिंग द न्यूनाजी रिजीम इन यूक्रेन येट इट सपोर्ट इरान इन इट्स वॉर अगेंस्ट इसराइल हाउ डू यू जस्टिफाई दिस well openly russia has not supported iran uh, it has said called for peace uh, russia has taken a balanced approach where china to puri tarah se khada ho gaya hai iran ke sath dekhiye uh, russia has given an interesting justification to the war and we have mere hisab se jo nazi ki interpretation hai ukraine ke andar wo kahin na kahin gadbad hai kyunki nazis are not those nazis anti jew nazis no there are jews in the ukrainian nazi right so that these nazis are anti russian nazis right to ye uh, this is a different sort of a game ab dekhiye multipolarity ka game yahi hai ki aap ek taraf ek ko support karte ho dusri taraf dusre ko support karte ho i'll give you a clear example caucasus is a beautiful place where geopolitics takes a shit in the bloody pond sorry for that uh azerbaijan armenia ठीक है अजरबाईजान को सपोर्ट करता है बाय द वे अजरबाईजान इज अ मुस्लिम कंट्री सपोर्ट करता है टर्की इसराइल चाइना पाकिस्तान ठीक है इसराइल एंड पाकिस्तान ऑन द सेम साइड आर्मेनिया को सपोर्ट करता है भारत यूएसए रशिया ये देख लो अभी आप ईरान यूएसए एंड ईरान ऑन द सेम साइड सो जियो पॉलिटिक्स इज वियर्ड sometimes you know you support something in one place and you don't support something in another place it's a little weird you need to be really really mature in the head to kind of play this game forget even you know understanding is is easier but to play this game you really need to have your head on the shoulders said so china's a big mistake of the deep state so is usa purposefully let itself been spread out in different wars so china tries invading iran and that deep state hits china 
you could say that USA is not getting involved anywhere. This is a misnomer. People are misreading the situation. US का एक troop involved नहीं है कहीं पे. ठीक है? And USA has up to 4,000 fighter aircraft. Okay? <laughs> in their navy and this and that. Their navy is bigger than our Air Force. ठीक है? In terms of aircraft. It's probably three times the size of our Air Force. तो एक चीज याद करेगा, USA के पास है hitting power. ठीक है तो ग्राउंड वॉर में यूएसए विश्वास करना छोड़ दिया है जब से अफगानिस्तान से बाहर निकले हैं दे आर गोइंग टू स्टैंड आउट दूसरों को लड़ाएंगे और जहां पर जिसको पुश करना है वो अपनी एयरफोर्स के साथ उसको सपोर्ट करेंगे एंड यू सी चाइना को अभी ये फंसाने वाले हैं बिटवीन फिलिपींस एंड जापान मार्क माय वर्ड्स इन दिस विल अ वॉर इन द मिडिल ईस्ट और चाइना ताइवान विल ब्रिंग अनदर इकोनॉमिक ब्लैक आउट लाइक इट हैपेंड ड्यूरिंग कोविड इन द होल वर्ल्ड अ Yeah, either one of these regions are going to be very dangerous. You know, China, Taiwan will be dangerous because Japan, South Korea, that entire region will blow up. Um, trade will get affected. Whole lot of things will get affected. Uh, and of course, manufacturing. China is still a large manufacturing hub. Jo marzi aap bol lijiye. Dheere dheere karke wahan se diversify ho raha hai, but takes time. Middle East is the oil hub, so we might not have that many problems because you oil Africa se bhi le rahe ho. साउथ अमेरिका से भी ले रहे हो और रशिया से भी ले रहे हो बट या द प्राइस इज इन ऑल दैट स्टफ विल गो अप राइट योर पॉडकास्ट विद टीजे जी संजय सर वाज ऑसम कीप देम कमिंग विद सेम इंटेंसिटी थैंक यू सो मच एंड थैंक नाइस ऑफ यू इज इजराइल इनान कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एस्केलेटेड यस यू कुड से दैट तमांग जी यू कुड से दैट टू अ सर्टेन एक्सटेंट But uh, I also think it's going to be a pretty bad fix match, जैसे चल रहा है अभी तक. So let's see. This thing is going to open out. धीरे-धीरे करके खुलेगा. Our in- defense industry have any plans in the future of developing a tailless fighter jet? घात तक ड्रोन का नाम सुना है आपने? That's basically yeah. You can if you can make a drone, that's the base of technology. You can always build on that. So yeah. there would be plans i am not sure of it but you do have the tech for it is jews and zionists are pro israel or more into the deep state dekhiye aisa hai this whole notion that jews control everything is yeah fair enough top 13 mein se about seven families are jewish but they don't kind of you know um they don't kind of support the kind of support that you should see for israel ओवर्टली तो नहीं है बिकॉज डीप स्टेट कहीं ना कहीं लेफ्टिस्ट हो गया था एंड उसका करेक्शन आपको दिख रहा है व्हेन थिंग्स आर काइंड ऑफ चेंजिंग एंड ये जो प्रोटेस्ट है इनके बारे में चीजें हो रही है एंड प्लस इफ यू सी द टेररिस्ट अटैक्स व्हिच आर हैपनिंग वहां से कहीं ना कहीं एक एंटी हमास स्टाइल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का एक नेरेटिव बनेगा एंटी रेडिकलाइजेशन का एक नेरेटिव जो पहले था वो वापिस आएगा सो so, उसकी उस तरफ एक कोशिश की जा रही है कैन इसराइल अटैक ईरान येस इट कैन Will it is another question. Your views on de-dollarization—it's inevitable. There is no question, but it's not going to be so fast. Okay, it will take time. Um, I hope it's not so fast. Let me say that very clearly, because in your interest, it will not be. Okay, until you don't reach seven, eight, ten trillion dollars, it is not in your interest that global interest of the global economy will be a very big blow. Because you are a growing power right now. If it is a big blow, it will impact you. right so i'd recommend status quo for a little bit and a slow transition aapka rupee upi aage bade tab ja ke aap apne aap ko stabilize kar sakenge okay um pakistan ki space agency suparco kya kehti kya karti hai <laughs> employment deti hai ek retired air marshal ko aur kuch scientist ko uske aage to mujhe nahi pata because unki sari rocket technology is from china I don't know what they do. Okay, I think if we've taken this question, to be honest with you, ah, huh, that's not a joke, because they've not made anything of their own. Himanshu Singh, do you have info on the next upcoming mole after Kejriwal? Looks like there are a lot of people in the race. What's your point of view? You're right. There are a lot of people in the race. काफी सारे दिखते हैं, but I think somebody will be brought out post the elections. I think it's too early. Ah, uh, इनको पता चल गया है कि अभी people are vigilant and अभी भी निकालेंगे तो कहीं ना कहीं वो बस्ट हो जाएगा सो दे विल बी ब्रॉट आउट हुआ इट इज विल बी ब्रॉट आउट आफ्टर द 
दी इलेक्शन फॉर द नेक्स्ट टर्म देखिए ये लोग ट्वेंटी नाइन भी छोड़ देंगे ये थर्टी फोर की बात करेंगे बिकॉज दीज आर लॉन्ग टर्म गेम्स ये एकदम से नहीं होता है गोल्ड वैल्यू राइजिंग चाइना इज होल्डिंग गोल्ड बट यू एस एज लार्जेस्ट गोल्ड रिजर्व हाउ विल डी डॉलराइजेशन इम्पैक्ट देखिए डी डॉलराइजेशन एज सेट इज अज अ वेरी वेरी यू नो इट्स बिकम अ वेरी कूल लिंगो इट विल टेक टाइम गोल्ड के बारे में देखिए चाइना की रियल एस्टेट मार्केट इज गॉन टू हेल्प सो पीपल है रियलाइज यार कहीं तो पैसे डालोगे यार बैंक में रखोगे तो बैंक फेल हो रहे हैं क्या करें सो दे बाइंग गोल्ड सो द इम्पोर्ट ऑफ चाइनीज गोल्ड इज गॉन अप सेकेंडली दे ऑल्सो नो अगर उनको कहीं ना कहीं अटैक वटैक करना पड़ा और यूएसए ने डॉलर के ऊपर लगा दिए सैंक्शन तो चाइना तो डूब जाएगा तीन दिन में सो दे ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट अज फॉर दम सेल्व इज वेल और राइट गाइज लाइक करना बिल्कुल मत भूलिएगा वीडियो को प्लीज डू दैट एंड I will take as many as questions as possible uh, today. Okay. How do you go about analyzing geopolitical situations? I'm studying some books on international relations. It's complex. I'm amazed how simply you explain these concepts. Look at the map. Look at the map. Let me show you again. Let's talk about Israel for the next thirty seconds. Look at the map. Where is Israel? It's right here. Where is Iran? It's here. How do they fight? There's a problem. राइट हाउ डज इसराइल अटैक बैक इट्स अज डिस्टेंस अगर इसराइल का कोई एयरक्राफ्ट यहां से टेक ऑफ भी करता है उसको अगर तेरान में अटैक करना है यहां करके वापस आना है उसको इट्स प्रॉब्लम व्हाट ही डू डज इसराइल हैव एनी बेसिस अराउंड एनी वे दैट इट कैन यूज होल लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स जोग्राफी मेक्स अज इम्पैक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ जियो पॉलिटिक्स रिमेंबर दैट सो एनी टाइम यू यूर फेस विद जियो पोलिटिकल क्वेश्चन look at the map look at the geography it will talk to you it will give you some answers and then you need to it will uh, give you some questions it will give you some answers uske baad aap zara thoda un questions and answers pe research kariye and you will be able to actually build forward but thank you for that compliment i'm grateful okay silicon cobalt lithium i think we've done that does our planet need depopulation specifically from the cult of the desert you don't need depopulation population that's that's a wild concept uh, which is there dekhiye aisa hai what you need is a regularization what you have is a problem of a cult theek hai ek cult formation hai aapke paas wo problem hai how do you deal with that cult now agar bharat is successful in kashmir theek hai dheere dheere karke ho rahe hain but i won't count the chickens too fast uh, if we are successful aapka ek fir वो निकलेगा यूल यूल हैव एसओपी कि इस तरह से आप इस प्रॉब्लम को डील कर सकते हैं कश्मीर एंड यूपी वुड बी द चैलेंजेस दैट यू वुड बी जज्ड ऑन सो इफ दैट हैपेंस डैम गुड और राइट डीविश आदि डज द बी टू सेल बॉमर वर्थ इट्स हाइप इफ यस डज इट इवन हैव एनी वीकनेसेस देखिए ऐसा है यार uh, each country has its own need for certain equipment not everything is required by every country aap abhi boliye aapko strategic bombers chahiye probably in the next 5 10 years that need would come out theek hai so i think yeah in the next sometime you should work on a long range bomber uh but dekhiye as far as the b2 stealth is concerned its technology which was first tested by the germans if i am correct in 1943 by a guy called horton right he tested this this flying wing right and when the germans fell the americans got hold of this technology and jake jack northrop uh started doing this he started working on this in 1950s and you know it didn't work inhone banaya bahut sare ke jahaz banaye chala nahi hai and somewhere around the 80s when he was close to 80 or 90 years old he was losing his memory they flew the first bomber in front of him as a respect to him it's a very high tech plane very very high tech plane it costs a billion dollars per piece the americans seem to know how to use it and they have a use for it so yeah it's probably worth for them not for the rest of us weaknesses dekhiye every every aircraft or every platform has its weaknesses and let me give you an example stealth is only applicable if the 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 structure of the aircraft is maintained जहां आपके बॉम्बे खुलते हैं द स्टेल्थ गोज आउट राइट बिकॉज इट ब्रेक्स द रेडा सिग्नेचर एंड द रेडा सिग्नेचर बिकम्स लार्जर 
the minute that happens you are tar- targetable if you remember iraq ke andar f117 ko bhi giraya gaya so that's that's one of the biggest weaknesses any stealth aircraft has plus secondly carrying capacity of any stealth aircraft is much lesser than a conventional aircraft kyunki conventional aircraft bahar carry karte hain right if this is a jaguar iske andar nahi hai bombs they are hung outside right so you can carry more fuel inside in the stealth that's not possible okay ha huh. considering the lack of fighter aircraft we have do you think india should import i think india should focus on production more than import chapo tejas ko chapo printing press ki tarah chapo ye jo 24 36 bolte hai na 70 80 100 nikalne chahiye din saal ke but for that you need an external order neeru ji uh, what is your take on uae investment in bigaristan in the balochistan means in the mines where chitrestan is already invested are you talking about china <laughs> what do you see happening in the future regarding these investments dekhiye these investments will not go anywhere theek hai these arabs they don't put money without thinking so they won't go anywhere uh, as far as china is concerned dekhiye those are not investments those are loans there's a difference so take your pick you can pay back the loan or you can't or you don't right okay denver thanks so much uh, for your contribution you say iran won't attack as 70% of his own population is vehemently against the regime any wrong move can trigger a civil war within but israel can by using azerbaijan as a base if needed and iran knows that it does but remember if azerbaijan does that the muslim world will kill it so the street is another problem right so you could technically do that quietly but how far will you keep it quiet so i think the iran the israeli response will be more covert quiet aaj jaise ek hezbollah ke commander ko uda diya in logon ne car mein ja raha tha apna lebanon mein upar se ek drone aaya tak car ud gayi khatam so yeah that kind of stuff can happen you will see more of that happening in the future Vinay ji, why is there a delay with the MFRA procurement? I think there's a different plan. I think there's a different plan, right? And they're waiting for a some sort of an opportunity to crack some deal somewhere. Okay, and I mostly think it's going to be France because Rafael's ka MRO to yeh pe khul raha hai. It does make sense to take it forward, right? So. I think there is a plan. Let's wait for the elections, and I'm sure we'll see something coming out. Aditya ji, thank you so much for your contribution. Very kind. Okay, let's see. Let's go forward. Um, ah, there are Pakistanis here also. My God, Pakistani bhi aa gaye hain hamare pas is stream ke andar. Chalo. ठीक है बढ़िया है यार मतलब पाकिस्तान में इमरान खान के लिए कुछ नहीं कर रहे तुम लोग कैसे शेमलेस लोग हो यार तुम्हारे लीडर को तुम्हारी आर्मी ने उठा के जेल में डाल दिया तुम कुछ करते नहीं हो शेमलेस पीपल छे साहिल साहब वाइफ फॉर वाई इज द फार ईस्ट ऑलवेज इग्नोर्ड दैट पार्ट ऑफ हिस्ट्री इज नॉट इवन प्रेजेंट इन इट्स अड थिंग ठीक है एंड ट्रस्ट यू मी इट्स it's just i have no explanations for it but it's the worst thing that we've done to our country okay ansh uh you say hi adi we are one of the oldest we are the oldest civilization not one right i'd like to correct you right there we had a glorious past we were intellectually sound then how were we ruled by moguls and britishers for so long because when you you forget your roots that's what happens right and remember all civilizations have a cycle right the cycle is going up then it comes down then it goes up then it comes down nothing is constant so you can pick it on any particular thing but the cycle of history will always turn so yeah 
if not by the Britishers and the Mughals, could be someone else. But what had to happen, happened. But imagine the power of your civilization that it still remained intact in spite of whatever happened to it. All right, Aditya, thank you so much. You say if Trump wins, how do you think of de-escalation? Yeah, don't look at it by his words. You know, these, these, what I, what I think is Trump will back off from Europe. Okay, because I think he wants to do a deal with Russia, which is what needs to be done. Okay, so if the deep state allows him to win and it becomes peacefully, then you should know that Russia is going to switch sides from China to towards the right side of history. And then you will find a lot of action on China. Okay, China will be squeezed, Iran will be squeezed, and you will find the rest of the game to art just like you are standing there, which is the rest of the game that is left, because that's what he wanted to do. So yeah, Joe Biden was like a comma full stop in the change in the world order. They didn't want to because they're leftists. If Trump does come, things will move a bit faster. <clears throat> Can we expect any escalations from Israel since Iran launched his drones twice in 24 hours? Our role in moderation or diplomacy can rule out to be the solution. Will there be any attack on Iran? There will be some attack on Iran, but I don't know what the scale will be. Right? If it's overt, covert, I don't know what that will be, but there will be an attack. The Israelis are not going to let them be. Dusra, dekhe, escalations ke mein, the world will now say enough. Ho gaya, tum ne khel liya, thande ho right? But how much does Israel actually listen to that is another question. So I think there will be something. How far big will be a question that we'll have to... Denver, thanks so much. Scary thing is, no one knows what Israel is capable of. No one knows what Iran is capable of either. So they might have nuclear weapons. So that's dangerous as well. And mere hisab se, I agree with Colonel Raina yesterday when he said that the reason that uh, Iran has done this is because usko ek protection hai, nuclear weapons ki. Why not make Khalistan in Canada? I to bolta hi aada Canada khali pada hai. स्थान लिखो आगे खालिस्तान बन जाता है प्रॉब्लम क्या है आधा कनाडा तो वैसे खाली पड़ा है ठीक है जी ओके लेट्स सी अम ओके आई थिंक आई हैव टेकन दिस अप माय अपॉलॉजीज माय क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग द रोल ऑफ अफ्रीकन नेशंस इन ऑल गोइंग इजराइल इन ऑन वॉर अ लॉट ऑफ अफ्रीका हैज अ लॉट ऑफ हार्डकोर मुस्लिम सेंटिमेंट्स एंड दे गॉट दीस जिहादी ग्रुप्स एज़ वेल सो I just hope they don't have send fighters and this and that in case this damn thing escalates. But I think Africa wants to stay away from these kind of games. They just want to stay away because they want to kind of ensure a certain amount of growth. The African Union is coming to be a certain entity. And just the way you have taken it in the G20, mein bhi leke aayo, they have realized if, if they don't sort out these problems within, there's going to be issues. And as a matter of fact, you can see Russia becoming strong. China at time pe leni ki koshish kar tha, but China is out. Uh, countries like Angola and all that stuff are throwing out the Chinese. Angola mein ek time pe 3 lakh Chinese hote the. Aaj koi 20,000 bhi nahi hai par. They've shut down most of the projects and stuff like that. So, Africa is in the brink right now. I think the Russians are going to take a lot of cake. Uh, Eastern Africa ke upar aapka kaafi influence hai. Starting from Mozambique, Tanzania and you know, southward. You've got a lot of influence because aapke oil aur ye sab kaafi cheeze hai maa par. So, yeah. It's it's Africa is going to be the center of geopolitics going forward. Elon Musk, Starlink, internet in India under certain rules. Obviously, it will be under certain rules. There are no free entries into Bharat, my dear friend, and that's not us. That's what the government has said. What will Israel pay Pakistani army to attack Iran? My information tells me uh, five million dollars have been given to the Pakistani army to be distributed amongst the generals, and I'm not joking, right? Um, this is my OSINT, which is telling me. So something is going to happen in the back end of Iran. You can't win a war with purchased military equipment, period. Ukraine, Russia, war is a prime example. Well, it's not that. I won't agree with you completely. But you can't have an army completely with purchased equipment. I would state it that way. Right? Not every country can make defense equipment of their own, but people do fight all the time. 
cyberpunk not being disrespectful but how seriously do you take dr shah see i don't like to comment anybody on person i i'll tell you something very clearly you know this thing has been going on for a long time a lot of people ask me about him yeah i respect the man he's got his opinion and he stands by his opinion what's wrong in that i have a different opinion i stand by it what's wrong in that but remember one thing both of us are looking at only one thing the growth of bharat that is what is important you might have different pathways leading up to the same goal it's not the pathways that that matter it's the goal that matters so th that's that's fine that's all right mm. do south america and can also enjoy that geographic position like north america south america is not exerted its geographical position but i would be telling you that be be careful for a big surprise coming in um from um, the g20 going forward because you're playing games in south america right now do you think eventually in 50 years from now bharat's border will be hindu kush in the northwest sab i presented the borders that i want right if you want i'll show you again these are the borders that i want okay i don't want 1 inch more 1 inch less this is what i want i want the thar bulge i want kartarpur i want the shakarkan bulge i want ladakh i want shatskam i want kailash i want bhutan that tri junction to be divided equally between bharat and bhutan i want some adjustments in bangladesh in the siliguri corridor that's just about it not 1 inch more after that so i have made my thought clear you might like it you might not but i have kind of put it down on paper <laughs> all right so let's see aage chalte hain what will iran do if it's pushed to the corner uh, and is invaded targeted with having wmd dekhiye sab invasion of iran will be the biggest disaster that any country does a ground invasion of iran look at the geography it's crazy it's absolutely crazy ठीक है यू आर अप्रोचिंग इट फ्रॉम वन डायरेक्शन वेर ही हैज थ्री डायरेक्शन टू ओपन ओपन फॉर इट सेल्फ प्लस इज गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ हिल्स दिस कैपिटल इज सराउंडेड बाय माउंटेन रेंज इट्स इन द वैली इट्स नॉट इजी टू देयर अ लॉट ऑफ प्लेसेस टू हाइड सो आई नो 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 saw your tweet on cash around 100 crores being seized daily in bharat from 1st march 4600 crores oh yaar pauj ko de do yaar tejas rafael kuch le lenge kitne log ha bolte hain let's start a campaign corruption money to be given to armed forces theek hai what do you guys say support me on this campaign let's start a campaign saying bhai jitna corruption mein aap paise pakadte ho seedha fauj ke khane mein khate mein jane chahiye seedha no questions asked that is something that we should support how do we ourselves inform our regional language speakers about these geopolitical issues you need to get them close yaar dheere dheere karke aapko sabko involve karna padega there there is just no way and i don't say uh, much but you know channels like these do some work some work little bit very small but yeah stuff like that channels like these people on the ground you know whole lot of things europe and pakistan is a satellite for america but israel a uh, case is changed the scenario any chance israel attack on iran with an emp bomb israel needs face saving yaar emp bomb doesn't show that much and it's a lot of effort theek hai uh, if i was israel i'd start taking out people that i don't like and that's what the israelis are going to do Okay. What is the use of BRICS for China? India are going to fight a war. See, I find BRICS to be a very funny platform. China is a sinking economy. Your Russia is in a war. Uh, let's look at the other countries who are the basic five. South Africa is a has been. It's never going to be. Uh, Brazil was has the potential. Lost it. Brazil is today what we were in the nine, probably 2000s. I don't know whether they're going to come out of it or not. It doesn't seem likely. You've got Iran, which is a, as I'll borrow what 
Colonel Jaina says is the gunda of the region. You got Saudi Arabia, who's just positioning himself with the West. Usko jaa America ki nuclear wo mili usne BRICS ko aise bahar nikal ke phenkna hai na. But he will still be a part. BRICS is a positioning platform when you're negotiating with the West, and that's what I see of it. The Americans and all don't like it. That's one of the reasons why they support uh, your efforts in terms of the G20. You write articles specifically explaining maps you've developed. We need to bring out the truth. Yeah, I have literally two jobs. One is this, and one is my main day job. I don't have the time of the day, and uh, so God bless me with all your blessings that this thing becomes something that can sustain me. Uh, so I could do this full time. Then yeah, I would be sure to write articles after that. Okay, as I think we have done this. Global power is not just the shift; it's shifting, but uh, shifting in uh, inside India to Bharat, which is not good for the grand old party and the deep state. I don't know what to answer for that, but yes, is in NASA's X forty three a tailless jet? I guess so. Let me see. I think so, right? X forty three, NASA. It's kinda not. Let me show you. It's kinda not. One sec. There you go. It's kinda not. So, it's that hypersonic jet. So yeah, you've got this tail section here. So at the moment, and these are drawings and renders here. So you don't know what what the final damn thing is going to come out. But NASA, DARPA, these guys are far ahead here. What's your opinion on the F thirty five? Too expensive. Many people in the U S say that's actually not effective. It's not. It's too expensive. It doesn't have the range. It doesn't have the maneuverability. It does not have the. Uh, yeah, stealth is good. Its weapon systems is good, but that's avionics. That doesn't fit the entire aircraft. You can put the F thirty five avionics on a Tejas as well. So, you know. Just joined in. This is Subhagya. Israel wants to uh, retaliate. USA is no. How about some US proxy doing some action in, on behalf of them? Face saving both for Israel and US. Keep a track of Pakistan. That's all I would say. What to do about the information warfare against India in the form of misleading social media influencers like Dhruv and this? See Dhruv and all that. Who I don't know who Dhruv is. Firstly. Uh, I don't care about anything. देखिए यार ऐसा है मैं आपको बताऊं. As far as information warfare is concerned, it has to be this thing. If you've seen my episodes where I've put my demands as far as foreign policy is concerned, concerned मैंने कल दोपहर में मेरे ख्याल से वीडियो किया था where I said that these are my demands as far as foreign foreign policy. One of the biggest things I ask for is a solid information warfare structure. So I agree with you. It's right now us fighting the narrative. It can't be us all the time. It has to be a Proper structure fighting the narrative. We will continue fighting. I'm not saying we will stop, but you know, Bangladeshi journalist again asked questions. Yes, today to the state. उसके शकल देखनी थी net price की. He was very weird. I think the Bangladeshi was shown his place. He gave half half a sentence worth of an answer and said, "Bye bye." Shravan, thank you so much. Great job. Channel is made an ordinary Indian understand the deep state. You equipped. Us to start looking at major actions in the world from the deep state lens. Thank you. I hope my contribution is also maps, you know, because I want to build up a culture of geography within our, uh, our, our, in our, you know, um, in our age, in our uh, generation as well. So, geography is something that I would really appreciate. That's one of the reasons why I put up all these maps so that, you know. People get interested and they start talking about it. This time, I received a lot of feedback about the map, so I was very happy. कि यार आदि आपने ये नहीं करा, आदि आपने वो नहीं करा। मैंने कहा, damn good. At least लोग पढ़ना शुरू हो गए maps. Okay, hi आदि. Good evening with current developments in the Middle East. I'm at a on back burner for the next decade or so. Uh, and sort of the conflict with the West and Iran cause India worries in the MS of energy. देखिए यार ऐसा है. IMF is not there for the decade. It's going to be switched on by the same time next year. I don't normally make predictions, but this thing has to happen, right? It's good for the region. Everybody wants it. 
एंड इट विल बी ऑन मेरी ये बात आप मार्क करके सुन लो ओके इन इन आर्मी फाइट्स फॉर द नेशन वर्सेस पीएलए फाइट्स फॉर द पॉलिटिकल पार्टी डज इट इफेक्ट देम साइकोलॉजिकली इन कॉम्बैट आई विल जस्ट से वन थिंग गलवान ठीक है इट डज इट डज बिकॉज यू आर लुकिंग थ्रू योर बैक ऑल द टाइम plus they have something called a political commissar which kind of uh, looks at the back and political commissar jo hota hai jiski reports aur ye sab hoti hain wo zyada important hoti hain from your uh, commanding officer so people are trying to please two bosses at the same time and that's not good for any army okay do you feel usa is screwed because of the woke people in their country they want to rule the world but they can't take care of their internal matters what do you think no i don't i think they're trying to change the way that the people are thinking and the easiest way of doing that is breaking down a society so what they're doing with this is a complete breakdown of their society so that they could reshape it in the next 10 20 years your views on ufo seen outside usa a follow channel who's become less hardcore research of who's become a hardcore research of ufos most of the time i find it funny but it sometimes is hard to make sense the cia started a program in 1957 i forget the name i have the paper with me somewhere i i can't put it out because i don't know where it is saved but i'd recommend all of you read a book by annie jacobson which talks about all this this kind of stuff and there are a lot of other people i read this book from annie jacobson that's why i've referred to it probably second time in the podcast but mai aapko ek cheez batau any time the usa is trying to hide something they put out the ufo right so the last time they put it out was when the uh, that nord stream pipeline went up so they said ufo 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 so they divert a lot of attention with that yeah that's something the cia has this program of strategic you know strategic games that they play with the minds of the people i am concerned about the upcoming election so all of us it seems like there is a preference from external sources with a lot of propaganda circulating on social media about pm modi damn good fantastic remember one thing all their games have fallen backwards so the more they do it the more we learn the more we earn the more we benefit so lage raho munna bhai namneet ji thank you so much let's take another how many let's take another 10 questions before we bring this wonderful session to an end i didn't think i would be doing this ever but i was pretty shy of doing it but i guess i enjoyed it okay let's see next okay usa enjoys all the trim- turmoil uh, situation going on the ground by considering the elections in late 2024 joe must be in the favor of de escalation of everything going around right could be could not be if a decisive blow could be given from any side um it it's a good win for joe biden but i don't think that uh, i think he will be taken out before that right so and i don't mean taken out like this thing i think he will be removed from the race before that let me make it very clear <laughs> before people start calling me unknown gunman again what will happen to ukraine if a single missile hits moscow we'll all be asking where is ukraine like karna na bhule absolutely Okay, what do you think Europe, USA would do about mass immigration? They are coming in boats and just walking in through the border. This is madness. How Europe, USA is going to deal with it? Europe is done, but I think they are preparing something for a future conflict or something like that because they are already talking about it. Um, as far as giving green cards is concerned, they they want people to work for three years and they get green cards. So. what do you think what, uh, what do you say was our biggest blunder in the past which is now coming bite to bat, bat, bite us gandhi and nehru no, i don't i don't think i want to say any more after that 
Okay. Uh, when will our fifth generation fighter aircraft come into production? Also, a third aircraft carrier, as per your views, by when will India pose a conventional military to channel China? Oh, we can channel China even now. There is no problem. But it's not in our interest to fight China. That's a different story altogether. Uh, fifth generation fighter aircraft. I hope it's up by 2028, as the government is saying. And the third aircraft carrier in this particular budget extension, which should happen somewhere in July, August. What do you think Europe, USA would do? Okay, I think I've taken this up. Um, do you feel Russia is going back? Do you feel Russia is going to back China in case China's Chinese adventures? Really? No. You know, Russia has banned TikTok. It's going to ban TikTok. Why? Because TikTok has banned pro-Russia content. That's how Russia-China rolls. Putin and Xi Jinping, good friends, but Russia-China are not good friends. Russian jet engines compare, compared to Western counterparts. They say Russian, the latest series of jet engines which are coming out in the Su-57 and all that stuff, I would say 95, even 97, 98% close to the Americans. And they are more hardy and more uh, less... Uh, I mean, it's it's easier to kind of maintain right so the russians used to have very very tough and very rude and very rough uh, jet engines today they, they've kind of they've they've come a long way all i all i would say is that okay 4600 crores is too low yaar go kal bhangde dal rahe honge log ladakh se niche kanyakumari tak all right. Uh, China always found supported jihadi activity, some action to ban by global community. Any discussion to Modi? Dekhe, that's the reason why you want to be in the Security Council so that you can counter all this nonsense from there. China supports Pakistan in the Security Council itself. Theke, and Sino Wahabi leftist ko jo mera ek takia kalam hai, usko kabhi mat ga. That is the root cause of the problems in this world today. Those three words. How do you manage to put up two to three videos? What's your time management secret? Don't think about doing something, just do it. You know, we always keep making plans. And that's Aswati ji, thank you so much for this question. We always keep making plans. Um, you kind of waste a lot of time making plans. So don't make plans. When you get something in your mind, just do it. Just do it. If you need to do it, if you have the time, don't sit down and think, it'll never happen. Just do it. That's it. You need to, I mean, I read a lot. Bahut zara. Dikhi ra hoga. So, subay saare paanch baje se utke, I'm reading something or the other. And when inputs come in, the previous inputs that are already stored somewhere, those things come alive and then suddenly you're like, yaar, ye dono connect hota hai and there is something that comes out. So, that's how you kind of, uh, you know, do stuff. So nowadays, itna, itna effort nahi lagana padta. Pehle baut lagana padta tha. Because I didn't have that kind of base knowledge. Thoda thoda abhi base knowledge aara hai. So when you see something happening in front of you, um, you do kind of, uh, you know, figure out how to take it forward. So we are at question number seven. Okay. What's your another job that you were talking about? I'm in the hospitality industry. I won't say more than that. Okay. That's eight. Do you take two more? What happened if Iran announced that they tested successfully and completed the nuclear bomb impact? I think the world is considering that they have it already. Right? So I think it's already there, but we need to kind of take it into consideration. Uh, Saudi ki reactions aayenge, you will kind of see that you know that's something that will tell us what the strategic thought process is about the Iranian bombs. I don't think they'll test it. Testing is gonna be a problem. You could scientifically test it, yeah. 
Navneet, thank you so much. Next war in the Indo-Pacific after Middle East. Yeah, that's what I look at it. Next war to Niyogi, it'll be a drag onto China to bring it here. Right, let's bring this show to an end. Last two. Resolution to the present impasse lies in the back channel talks between Bharat and the deep state. The deep state seeks closure to the China paradox. Your views? I think China, they will handle themselves. They've kind of shifted from Bharat towards the East China Sea. They're telling you to kind of just hold on and not sort out stuff with China. Uh, but you're right. Back channel talks are on. And a lot of turmoil is going to happen going forward. So election is a fun thing. After that, there will All right. Chaliye, last me. Abhi jo latest sawal hai, wo le le hai. I'm going to jump the queue and do it. What do you think of the BJP manifesto of getting the UNSC seat? Think they have an ace with them, which is what they will use. Why I, you know, with, with these guys and the way they, they, they talk about the manifesto. Ah, if they put it there, they, they have a plan, right? Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for sitting along for this interesting session and I I had fun lots of questions to answer from various different places various different uh, subjects I think we could do this sometime in the future as well but thank you so much for all your help all your contributions all your following and your viewership uh, I'm very grateful that you guys follow me and you kind of like what I'm doing uh, so please keep your support up and I'm, I'll be there with you making more videos just as long as you guys can encourage me to do that. Right? Thank you so much. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.